sea and look at Proxima Centauri? Would the sky take on a different color? Would the stars appear larger? These are the questions scientists are eagerly searching for as they learn more about this fascinating planet. Imagine standing on Proxima B and looking up at the star. Instead of a bright yellow sun like ours, Proxima Centauri would appear in the sky as a large, fuzzy red ball about three times the size of our sun. And if Proxima B is in the Goldilocks zone of stars, not too hot or too cold, it could have liquid water there. Liquid water, as we know, is crucial to life. But before you start planning your space vacation, here's what you need to know. Proxima B is likely tidally locked to its star, meaning that one side is always facing the star, while the other side is always dark. This is not very convenient for any life. Furthermore, any water on Earth that gets too close to the star would be heated by the star's powerful radiation and turn into steam. On the other hand, if the planet were too far away from its star, it would be so cold that all the water would freeze. Proxima Centauri may not be the best place to live either. Although much smaller than our sun, the fusion core is closer to the surface, causing great chaos and turbulence on the surface. This turbulence creates powerful magnetic fields that can produce dangerous radiation and particle bursts, which can be difficult for planets like Proxima b in the habitable zone. Until recently, scientists knew little about the magnetic fields around Proxima Centauri, but thanks to new research using cutting-edge mapping, they now have a better idea. The study found that Proxima b receives about 1,000 times more radiation very harsh for life. As humans, we have always been interested in the idea of meeting aliens. Our interest peaked in late 2020 when a strange signal was detected in the Alpha Centauri system, home to Proxima Centauri. What's interesting is that this signal is on a frequency of 9,182.5 MHz, which is not a frequency we normally hear from satellites or spacecraft. Some experts believe it could be a device, while others hope it could be a sign of intelligent life somewhere in the universe. The latest data from the James Webb Space Telescope tells us something interesting about Proxima b. The distant planet we're studying may have water vapor in its atmosphere. This is a big deal because water is essential for life to exist. Finding out whether Proxima b has water or not is really important for solving one of the great puzzles of the universe. Scientists are using all sorts of advanced tools, like spectroscopy and atmospheric modeling, to study Proxima b's atmosphere from afar. Spectroscopy is like using special spy equipment to figure out what gases are in the air around the planet. This can help determine if there are substances like oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide that are important for life. Then there is atmospheric modeling, which involves creating a fake version of Proxima b's atmosphere on a computer. Scientists can experiment with different ideas, like building models of dinosaurs and guessing what they would have looked like when they were alive, and see what would happen on Earth. Using these instruments together, Scientists are starting to get an idea of what Proxima b's atmosphere is like and whether it could be a comfortable home for life. But there is still much we do not know, and we must continue to study and learn more. Even if things get complicated as Proxima b gets closer to its star, we should not lose hope. After all, we have examples of life surviving in extreme conditions right here on Earth. There are tiny organisms called extremophiles that can live in places where nothing would be expected to survive such as the deep ocean or hot deserts. So if life can find a way to thrive in difficult places here on Earth, who knows what might be possible on a planet like Proxima b. Earth's extremophiles are survival superheroes, thriving in places once thought impossible. Extremely hot springs, deep sea vents, acidic lakes, and even the frozen ice of Antarctica. These hardy little creatures have shown us that life can exist in places we never imagined. If life can adapt to Earth's harsh conditions, perhaps it can thrive in extreme environments on other planets. We've found all sorts of extremophiles on Earth. Thermophiles love the heat and can survive in temperatures that make them sweat. One species, called Thermus aquaticus, happily lives in hot springs, while another, Pyroloquinoline fumari, lives in superhot deep sea vents hotter than water boiling. Then there are the cold-loving psychos, like Psychrobacter arcticus, which thrives in the frigid environments of the Arctic and Antarctic. These extreme adventurers show us that life finds a way, no matter how harsh the conditions. Other types of extremophiles on Earth are no less interesting. Lactic acid bacteria, like Acidithiobacillus ferrooxidans, 
love acidic places, and thrive in environments where most living things dissolve. Alkaline substances, such as Natronominus ferreones, survive in extremely alkaline conditions, just like baking soda. And halophiles, such as Halobacterium salinarum, live in places with high salt concentrations, such as salt marshes. These creatures show how adaptable life is. Considering the harsh conditions, such as the intense radiation caused by Proxima b's proximity to its star, one wonders whether extremophiles could survive there. Earth's extremophiles give us hope. For example, Deinococcus radiodurans can withstand radiation doses thousands of times higher than those that would kill a human. These extremophiles have developed fascinating survival skills, including specialized DNA repair systems, protective pigments, and unique cell structures. These adaptations provide clues as to how life on Proxima b might adapt to its harsh environment. Detection of extremophile-like organisms Proxima b may be possible. Even if it is not a complex life form like plants or animals, it would still be considered a life form beyond Earth. This opportunity inspires scientists to continue to explore and think about what lies beyond Earth. It is an exciting time for space interest as we are getting closer to answering the age-old question. Are we alone in the universe?